What's up guys? So after playing Animal Crossing New Horizons for, I don't know, over 40 hours now, I've been playing like minimum 12 hours a day, I came across some uh, quality of life changes that I think could benefit the game or, you know, maybe in a patch or in the future if Nintendo could implement them. That'd be freaking sweet. Anyway, so let's get into it. Number one, being able to craft materials from your storage. Uh, if you, uh, I hope you know that in your house, you have storage. Quite a lot. I think it's like 300, 240, 300. I don't know. It's a lot. Being able to craft whatever is already in your storage so you can just stockpile wood and stone and iron nuggets and like everything instead of having to pull it out and then go in there and pull out what you need and go back. Like it, it would just be so much nicer. I don't know. I feel like that would just make... A huge difference and then you know what you know it is what it is anyway all right guys number two being able to place items when visitors are over okay so recently uh, like my friend group we went over to my buddy's island and his hot item was a frying pan now it's very easy to make and they were selling for like 3,000 I think 3,000 bells a pop and it cost like two iron nuggets to make so we went over there and we were just all making the item and uh, it kind of sucked because like I brought my DIY bench thinking I could just plop it down and just go ham on making um, the item. No, no, not the case. So he had one down and then we had Daddy Nook's tent. <laughs> Daddy Nook. Shout out to uh, Tom Nook. <laughs> Anyway, we had Daddy Nook's tent, and uh, we had a, a DIY bench in there, but we were just, like, taking turns. Because, you know, yeah, I crafted some before I left, but at the same time, you have to sell them there, and you can only hold so much. So, I feel like... But, like, I, I get it. Like, you don't want to be able to move items around, like, having everybody just, like, rearrange everything. Like, I get that, but it was just, like... It was something that would, you know, would have helped. All right, number three... Can't send postcards when your gates are open. Now, this is kind of like a minor thing, but it was just kind of annoying. Like, I had buddies over, and one of our friends wasn't able to play at the time. I was like, oh, yeah, like, I'll send you this item. No problem. Couldn't send it. Like, you're already online. You're already there. You, like, it, you should just be able to send it. It should be, like, seamless. Like, you're already connected to the internet because you have people coming. I don't know. It's just weird to me. All right. Number four is probably my biggest one out of this list so if somebody is hosting has you know let visitors come to their island okay take a look at this okay i, I caught this we went to their southern hemisphere island and we we're catching like whale sharks and great whites and like all these crazy fish now watch if we go into my menu i've got the dorado and i've got whatever that blue fish is up there now right here looks like someone quietly left somebody when somebody loses their internet connection somebody puts their switch into sleep mode or like they time out this happens now it doesn't auto save very frequently when you're online with other people so when that happens you lose whatever items you had i lost like eight new fish the other night because somebody's internet crapped out on them and it really really sucks now if somebody leaves like properly like to go into dodo and it's like oh somebody's leaving the island it'll save and it'll you'll be okay you know like uh, see somebody went home now watch i'll go into my menu my dorado's gone that blue fish is gone bam like it sucks i guess if you wanted to troll your friends you could do that and just be a complete a-hole about it that, that sucks that needs to be fixed like if somebody disconnects it should automatically save your game because it, you know, pops up like the message code. Oh, like somebody left quietly. So if you see that message, get prepared to lose everything you have. All right. Point number five. Being able to craft more than one item at a time. Now, if you do a lot of fishing in Animal Crossing, you know that you can only craft one fish bait at a time. It is super annoying. If you keep mashing A, the animation kind of goes a little faster. You might save like half a second. But it just sucks. Having to constant like, you know, I'll, I'll farm some clams and get like 20, 30 at a time and then go in and it takes like five minutes. You know, I should just be able to do like a batch. I could understand like 
for like fish bait, I could understand maybe eventually being able to do like bulk crafting for other things, not so much. Like I don't want to bulk craft a log table, but I, that's definitely a huge thing for me. That takes forever to get bait. But anyway, guys, those are my top five quality of life changes that I think would be uh, pretty nice to have in the future. I don't know if Nintendo's going to update this. It's not like some crazy, like, it's not like Final Fantasy XIV or WoW. And like, you know, oh, we got to adjust this. So I think it'll probably stay the same. But if they do bring these around, that'd be sweet. Especially the one where you lose your progress. Because that's the biggest one. It's the most frustrating one. When you lose, like, I had uh, the sunfish, like that big fish. That freaking takes up, like... <laughs> Your whole character and like had like your whole screen i had a whale shark i had a great white i had a, a ribbon eel i had all kind of rare stuff and then that happened i was like man but anyway guys if you like this video hit that like button subscribe and uh if you guys want to have some more animal crossing videos let me know because legit it's all i've been playing uh i might maybe one day have you guys let me come to your islands check them out check out your house see how you rearrange your island i think it'll be, good. be a good uh, good time good series to have but anyway guys i will see you on the next one